Sometimes what is thought to be a battery, alternator, or starter problem is actually a system problem due to unwanted high resistance. High resistance is often caused by one of these four main issues. Loose connections, corrosion in the cables and wiring, improperly sized wiring or cables, or improperly crimped connectors. A visual inspection of cables and connections doesn't show what's going on inside the cables or inside the connections. Voltage drop testing is the only sure method of determining if there's an adequate delivery path for optimum starting, charging, battery performance, and life. A voltage drop test assesses voltage losses at the battery, the alternator, and the starter. Follow these steps to measure voltage loss at the battery. With the voltmeter connected to the battery and engine off, record a base voltage reading. If it's less than 12.4 volts, you should charge the battery and repeat the test. If the voltage is greater than 12.6 volts, or 12.8 volts for AGM batteries, then surface charge must be removed. To do that, turn on the headlights and the blower motor to high speed for one minute, then turn off the devices and wait two minutes for the voltage to stabilize. Once you have a reading that's between 12.4 volts and 12.6 volts, you'll then start the engine and bring it to normal operating temperature. With the engine at 1500 to 2000 RPM, turn on all electrical loads, such as lights, blower fan, and AC. The charging voltage should be at least 0.5 volts above the base voltage reading. If not, excessive resistance could be present. Next, move on to the alternator. You should measure the circuit voltage drop on both the positive and negative sides. For the positive side, you first need to ensure the battery is charged to 12.4 volts minimum. Next, connect the carbon pile tester positive lead to the B plus stud, or output terminal on the alternator. Then, connect the negative lead to the ground on the alternator. After that, connect the voltmeter, which should be set on low scale, to look for excessive resistance on the positive side. Connect the voltmeter's positive test lead to the alternator output terminal and the negative test lead to the battery's positive post. Then you turn on and adjust the carbon pile to alternator rated amperage output. And finally, record the voltage on the voltmeter. This is the positive circuit voltage loss. Immediately turn off the carbon pile. The second part of the alternator test measures the negative side. With the carbon pile tester still connected, connect the voltmeter's positive test lead to the battery's negative post and the voltmeter's negative test lead to the alternator's ground stud or case. Turn on and adjust the carbon pile to alternator rated amperage output. Record the voltage on the voltmeter. This is the negative circuit voltage loss. Immediately turn off the carbon pile. As a last step for the alternator, you should add the positive circuit loss and negative circuit loss together to get total system loss. This loss shall not exceed a half volt for a 12 volt system or 1 volt for a 24 volt system. Keep in mind that the higher the reading in each circuit, the bigger the problem. For instance, if your reading showed 0.2 volts loss on the positive circuit and 0.7 volts loss on the negative circuit, the technician needs to focus on the negative circuit. If the voltage drop exceeds specification, check for corrosion, frayed strands of wire, loose connections, or a battery cable gauge that's too small. The last part of the voltage drop test involves the starter. Like the alternator, you should measure the circuit voltage drop on both the positive and negative sides. For the positive side, you first need to ensure the battery is charged to 12.4 volts minimum. Then connect the carbon pile tester positive lead to the B plus stud on the starter solenoid. Next, connect the negative lead to the ground stud on the starter. Next, connect the voltmeter's positive test lead to the battery's positive post and the negative lead to the starter B plus post. Finally, load the carbon pile tester to 500 amps and record the voltage drop. This is the positive circuit voltage loss. Immediately turn off the carbon pile. Now, conduct the test on the negative side. With the carbon pile tester still connected, connect the voltmeter's positive test lead to the starter's ground stud or case and the voltmeter's negative test lead to the battery's negative post. Load the carbon pile tester to 500 amps and record the voltage drop. This is the negative circuit voltage loss. Immediately turn off the carbon pile. 
Just as you did before, add the positive circuit loss and negative circuit loss together to get total system loss. This loss shall not exceed a half volt for 12 volt systems or 1 volt for a 24 volt system. If the voltage drop exceeds specification, check for corrosion, frayed strands of wire, loose connections, or a battery cable gauge that is too small.